Hi, today we're going to learn about local functions in C-sharp. So, Myra, what are local functions? So local functions is a feature that was introduced in C Sharp 7, and it allows you to declare private functions inside, a, like nested inside another member. Ah, when would you want to do that? Um, so you might want to do that by doing like um, recursive functions. Okay. So when you're designing your class, um, sometimes you'll have a method that you would only call once. In your entire code, and yeah, it was I have just, a lot of those. <laughs> so, just like one, one or two, like one method that would call on that private uh, method, and so to really narrow down the scope of when that functionality should be used, then you can use local functions. All right. So, what does that look like? Okay. So here, um, I'm running the .NET Try Global Tool, and it's running on my browser locally. Um, so here I have a, a method called calculate factorial, uh, and it's a recursive method. So instead of declaring a, another separate method, we added the local function here. Okay, yeah, I recognize the curly braces, but I don't see an accessibility modifier. So that it just like starts with int, the return value. So is that automatically protected? Yes, it's, pri it's private, to, oh, that, private yeah. to that member. Yeah, so in this case, to this method. Um, and so you can go in ahead and run, and you get the result from calling that re recursive function. So, um, so local functions are good for like uh, recursive methods, iterators, or async methods as well. Uh, are kind of like the main usage of where you would apply local functions. Gotcha. So I know the curly brace syntax for writing methods. Is there another option? Yeah, so here, because we're running just returning just a single expression, we could um, replace it with an expression body member here. Gotcha. So, and even make it simpler. So let's change here to another number and run again and see if we get it right. So oh, yeah. yeah, super clean code. Yeah. All right, so if I wanted to learn more about local functions, where would I go? So on docs.microsoft.com, uh, we have an article that explains everything about local functions. Um, so it explains how, from where you can declare them, how you use it, what's the syntax. So go ahead and check it out. Sweet. And that cool tutorial that you were running in your browser, how do I get to that? So that was running, uh, running the .NET Try global tool. So you can go to .NET slash try dash samples here um, to download and run it on your machine. Very cool. All right, so use local functions to improve the legibility of your code as well as the uh, protection levels. Yeah. Thanks for watching.